So in this lesson, I'm going to be working with a couple girls from the local high school equestrian team that I co uh, help coach. And uh, they had a competition on Sunday where their classes were a little less than stellar because the horses that they were riding, they're not finished out. And, you know, they break gait a lot. They do a lot of leaning. Uh, one of the horses even gave a little buck, which is the Arab mare that you'll see in the video. Um, the paint mare that you're gonna watch, she's very lazy and couch potato-like. Um, so the purpose of this lesson was basically to help them work on sharpening up their transitions, getting their um, shoulders moving, and just getting them a little more in frame and balanced and motivated. So as we work through the lesson, you know, you'll see us working through some problem areas with, you know, equipment issues, speed issues, hand issues, those sorts of things. Um, and these riders, they're really good riders, but they've never really had the opportunity, unfortunately, to ride finished horses. So we're working on getting their less than stellar ponies more towards finished show horses. And it's a, it's a transition for them because they do a lot of training on, you know, horses that have problem issues, um, bucking, bolting, those sorts of things. So now we're trying to transition them to be a little bit more finished riders. And this is their fir very first lesson at this. Um, so you'll see that in the video that, you know, there's some frustration and uh, but a lot of good things going on too. And I think that the lesson ended on a very nice note. The girls got a lot more consistent work out of their horses today. And hopefully that'll translate this weekend when they show. And hopefully we'll get some video maybe at the show to do as a follow up. Thank you. Susie's nice and cool, so 
not worrying about her for that. Outside rein up, keep her between. Legs and reins, twist around the circle. Good, much nicer. Catch her on the outside leg if you have to. Nice, much better, Molly. Do you feel the difference? Yeah. Yeah. She's looked a lot better. So now the storm is starting to get, um, like she, right there, she picked up her shoulders to the door for you. But here she's starting to shoulder in. Can you feel it there? And she's step back. Okay, good. So you constantly have to put them in place, drop your aid, let them hold it, and the second they come out of it, put them back. Otherwise, they don't work, right? So if you just constantly hold their aid all the time, like, okay, I'm going to hold your shoulder up with my leg constantly, then they rely on you or they get dull to it, of course, to do it for them, for you, right? So they'll be like, oh, kind of just going to carry me around. Well, you're the one on her back. Yeah. She's the employee, all right? And she's basically ducking out on her job, which is to just stand and make the color stand and do it nicely. So here, lots of shoulder dropping in. So drive her forward. Push her forward, and she has to straighten out. And then if she does it, then you can come with that inside leg. Everything comes from impulsion. Impulsion doesn't mean speed. It means energy. So I can have impulsion and not going anywhere. Okay? That's what you're trying to build. You can cast it. Yeah. It's all right. Because you got to practice casting anyway. It's my fault. All right. So as you come up on this corner, Kylie, tighten your butt cheeks. A little bit of bump. Keep her in a nice one, two, three, four walk. Make her walk out. Make her work. Inside leg. Drive her forward, both legs around the circle. Rotate your hips, look where you want to go. Not down at her neck, nice, much better. Leg. Okay, and I'm about to have you snap over the reins because she's literally just ignoring your leg right now. Okay? So next time you ask nicely, and she kind uh, of, I want you to take it, I want you to tap her forward lightly and say, get going. Okay. All right? There's no reason for her to. Act like a cow and just move around. I've seen this horse pull the cross the table, okay? There's plenty of energy, she can do it. Now, you automatically wanted to pull her to the wall, which is fine, that's our first thing. Think, every time she drags you somewhere, I just want you to add gas. I want you to push down the accelerator and tell her to go, have her straighten out first, and then guide her over. Because if you push the gas, and she's leaning in, you're just gonna end up in the wrong spot faster. Does that make sense? So you've gotta drive her up into your bridle. Good, Molly. Oh, I think it's looking a lot better. Now she's a little more sensitive on her side. <clears throat> so just try to like lightly guide her around and push her up into that round. It's the same thing. It's just less.
because it's time for her to grow up. It's time for Susan to grow up too, in a different way. She's doing better, Molly? Yeah. yeah, she was older. 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 She traffic and you don't want to be the person not in the judge's eye all right so if you have a class full of 25 people you kind of have to figure out how you're going to get in front of the judge right yeah. so you want to be not hiding with somebody hiding behind somebody on a rail but you don't want to be the you know person on the inside of the ring that's laughing everybody either so you have to find a happy medium, okay? But try to get in front of the judge because the more she sees you right. and you're not in a pack, the better off you're gonna be. And the way you do that is rating speed, right? So if you have to speed up to get past people, the judge is typically gonna do what? They're gonna stand in one corner. They do this on purpose. They'll stand here. Alright, and this is why she did not see Susie stop and poof. <laughs> because she was standing here and she watches this. She doesn't care what happens here. This is your free pass. Okay? Some judges stand in the center, okay? But you still have a free pass, you just gotta pay attention. Alright? They will give you one. They realize these horses aren't gonna be perfect. Good. Now bump again a little more important. Like this is lady. There, good. We don't have to worry about slowing her down. <laughs> we want to work her in a nice pace so that we get it back. She's working like her slow. Okay, but out here, you want her to work. Good. Now, staying on the rail has to do with the shoulders. Okay? The shoulders and the alignment of the body. They shouldn't be dropping around corners. They're inside leg, outside ring up, outside ring up. Leg, now release, good. There, nice. See what she did? Again around the corner. Don't let them fall in. Right here, outside ring up, okay, up. Leg, leg. 95% of problems that are created in corners can be fixed with a little impulsion. Leg there, mom. Leg, just push her through it. Leg, leg, hold your hand steady and just left. Let her find a place. Don't pull harder. Do a circle. Do a circle, mom. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's <laughs> okay. Leg, leg. Look right to the corner and don't let her foot. There, nice. Drop the hand and let her find a Do you feel that? Yeah. That was nice. Okay, now keep her in. So, here she cut again. Circle. Kind of circle and go right back into that corner. Look up and around and be like, no, you can put your you put the shoulder up to walk in the dirt. You can't put the shoulder up to walk in the dirt. Okay? Same expectation every spot. They're going to be like, I will never come off the rail again. Okay? Let's circle here. Um, nice and relaxed. You can go for the shoulder. Okay. Now, Molly, with her, I want you to kind of just shorten up your reins just a little bit and slow your pulse. Think about a plug of horse, how they look. Okay. There you go. Inside leg, inside leg, look up, look up. Now drop your inside hip. Straighten your shoulder. There you go. There you go. Feel that? She said, thank you for getting off my inside leg. <laughs> okay? Because you're collapsing that right side, which I think is your bad side. Yeah, I mean, it kind of makes sense, yeah. Okay, so you're, you're collapsing it. So open your rib cage and drop that shoulder back and up. Good, Kylie. See how even your corners they can 
No. Who knew? Now, why do we want a deep corner? Well, because if I'm the judge and I'm looking here and I'm going to call for a low, you've got a lot more time to make it look good if you go deeper in the corner. Okay? Plus, I don't want to see you cutting corners. It's annoying. All right? Now, how long have we been trotting without a break? Plenty. Don't get me there. Good, Kylie. All right, we're going to keep going. All right, they should be able to do 20 laps at a trot. Okay? This is the world so then Susie Grace. Okay? But there's no reason for them to break a game ever in a class. Okay? There, Molly, that looks nice. Good. Let her bring that head down and roll those hips forward when she does that and relax and reward her. She's trying to figure out what to do. Okay. Now with Storm, she's now on the rail nicely, so I want you to actually start asking for a little bit of head set. So there she dives, circle, get after her, good, good catch, that's what you're going to do in class. Circle, and then what I want you to do is we're going to work on head set through lifting the reins, adding contact, and adding leg. So, Riding her to the bit without speed, do you know what I mean? So you're going to hold her face, basically. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Contact on the bit, contact on the bit. Up, short the range a little bit. There, did you feel her reach for it? Right there. Did you feel her? A little bit. Okay. Like, that's what we're looking for. And then you release. And then you pick up. There, nice. Did you see it? She tried. All right? She knows. All right? that she can bring her head down. All right, you just gotta start asking for it. We fight my nerves. Yes. <laughs> I was like, like I can feel, feel it sliding. <laughs> <laughs> um. yeah. uh -oh. Here, do that again. Inside shoulder needs to bend up. Outside ring up. Outside ring up. There you go. Nice. Inside brain, inside brain, outside brain, up. Play with that inside. Play, 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 a little bit more. There, release. Nice. Now, you're not going to get that bend with the, the riding out here, but you can get her to go first, okay? You really just need to bridle her up into it. So if you have to shorten a little bit to get a better contact on it, it's fine. You're going to lift and lift. Lift and lift. Leg, 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 leg. There. When she drops it, you let go. And then ask again in another couple breaths. Yeah. Get inside right now. Nice, nice. Bridle right into the bridle. So she figures it out. Leg, 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 leg. She's almost trying. She's trying. She's trying to figure it out. Keep going. Drive, 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 drive. Drive. A little more rain. Play just a little on the inside. Like, 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 like. <laughs> again, again, again. A little bit of play, a little bit of play. Inside leg. Inside leg. Okay, And release as you should go down. Hold up, Inside leg just a little bit more. There you go. And drop it down and let it relax for a minute. And try again. Leg, leg, leg. Don't let it There, release. Really, there, she tried. Release. Let her go long and go like this for a second. Just open those reins up. Really wide. Really wide. And drive. There you go. Good. Good game. Wide, wide, leg, 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 leg. Older, 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 older,
and loop. Okay? Inside leg, Molly, just play with the inside view just a little bit. Give her a little more range. She's got her tongue in a bit. I don't want to say again. Leg. Now slow your motion again. Drive up anyway just a little bit. Play with that inside leg. Play, 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 leg, 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 there. Leg, 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 leg. Hold the reins, leg. There, nice. Release, release, release. There you go. There you go, Kevin. Yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I know this is a head bob, but eventually it becomes a whole right, thing. So this is asking so that I can straight out, bend your elbows. Drive forward. Drive forward. Take your reins up a little bit shorter. Now, now that she got it long and low like that, there, there, good. Drive, drive, bend your elbows. Now slowly you can raise up the ball and drive where you were before. There, good. Leg, leg, good. Now everybody, breathe out and walk. Oh, what next transition? Or 
outside rein up, outside rein up, bump, 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 bump right into the right. Okay, Molly, when you're ready. You got to cut that corner, come down again. Watch this, Molly. Good. You can get her next to the other side. There, Molly. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> there, that's nice. So, quarter around the corner, don't let her quench. Bump, Molly. Get that up. Bump, bump, bump. Walk your horse to speed. Walk your horse to speed. Nice. We're excited. Yeah. 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 Everybody. All right. So, I don't know how long that was, but if I was a judge, that would be enough time to get the class, I think. Okay? So, you need to be able to push them around this arena, which is smaller than the one you're riding in. Probably 50 times. Okay. They need to have that stamina. Alright, so everybody will take the walk. Go ahead and reverse at the walk. Use those legs, drive them around. I see you pick up your hands, I'm thinking. Came out of your equitation seat. You can't ride with your seat. Okay, minus two. I don't want to see cues. I want to see action. Inside leg, push them over. Now we're kind of doing training and working on you guys, but you want to be subtle. Okay, I don't want to see you doing a lot of things. I just want to see you want to go around nicely. So you have to do your homework here. So when you're in the ring, it comes just as a flow, as it should. All right? Because you've got to work yourself hard in here to do that. So the way you make your 500 laps and low people look good is you have to do it at home for 700. Okay? All right, go ahead and pick up your jog. Inside leg, outside ring, up, 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 bump. We're both here in the next corner. Drive for a little bit more. Open that outside rein and drive to four. Block with that inside leg. Up, up, up. Leg here. Shorten your reins a little bit. We're gonna work out a little headset again. Good. Drop your reins down, Molly. Don't think of the headset as headset. It's driving into the bridle through the butt, okay? There is energy from their rear quarters, which is their engine, that you have to push forward to the bridle, okay? You have to let it go through your leg, though. You can't block with the leg. So that's the first thing, right? She's flipping, get after her. Right. Oh, 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 she can move it over. Wow. 
all out. We all start to do it again. Get her 
knows in a little what that means by writing play. Outside hit, go. sensitive she's it's gonna feel like a sweat so walk her off give her about half inch more rain all right lift your inside rain up slightly get the shoulder over now back with the outside rain okay now take your outside leg and tell her something's coming give her a little cue get her walking out okay now kiss and go don't look at the top Push. Good. Now back. Push. Push. Now take your leg off. Relax your leg. Bump. If she does slow down, one good bump. I'm going to leave her alone. She's getting fixed because of being Alright? Relax your leg. Slow your feet. There's a difference between climbing and staying in. Bump. Right? But who cares? You can sit on all the right? You're fine. 
want to get to the point where she's just like, well, this is going on, this is just a little off. Because she's just going to tell me to go, and then she's going to be here. So I'll be here next. Her, she's lazy. Okay, she's just a lazy couch. And so you have to get after her there. A lot of what you're experiencing with her is she doesn't have as much stamina as this one because she's made to go at a walk all day long. You know, plow feels it again. Her muscle lies, long lies, and then you start asking for the brain. Now you can ask a little bit. Or well, right now, it would just be nice if she could make it around the ring without dying. Okay, because look, it seems to be a little puppy puppy. She has to she kind of looks like she Yeah. Okay? But everything you do here, you have time to think about it. Alright? The cool thing is, in the ring, you actually have time to think about it too. So if I'm a judge, and I'm standing here, Alright, I could be looking over here, I could be looking over here, but if you have to like get out of your work for being in her, you don't have to get Okay? But in the meantime, you know how to set them up for success. Don't take the fight. You don't have to, right? The whole point is to get finished so you're not taking any ones. Right? So like with Susie, it's better to take 10 seconds and make sure that those are your repertoire and is my outside hand up. That's one. You're already adrenaline pumping nervous out there anyway. So what's going to take like 25 seconds is probably five. Okay? So just go through it in your head. You should the same thing. Is my outside hand up a little bit? Okay, now I'm riding my hand in. One second. Yeah. Up just a little bit. Okay? Okay. So same thing. Okay. So right hand in. Here's my hand up. Play with my finger. Make sure you get the inside right. If I need you to put it on something, right? You probably don't want to do it on something, but you play with it. And then right like this big, so it's not that big. And you get ready to give the cue. So this leg is solely here to block. Right? So it's kind of neutral, it's like a post. So then when you push this hip over, the front end stays the same. The hip moves over, and then it will walk. Okay? If she's like this, she's going to pop that wrong knee. Right? So even if she's like this and this, she's going to pop that knee. So you have to look for that inside eye. You have to leave that post there. And then you've got to tell her something's coming. All right? And push it forward. Okay? Now you can school the bopping her if she doesn't go. Okay? But it doesn't have to be equal, it just has to be equal. Okay? And you just, it's like to finish, you go, okay, when you start with both, you know, like ask, tell, demand, right? It's the big language. Ask, tell, make, whatever. Um, right now it's ask and do. Okay? So if they don't do, you, you do. Okay? You have to take out the middle step because the middle step is the difference between placing and not placing. Alright? And then, on top of that, you have to look like you're doing literally nothing. Okay? So right here when you're training, we all look like we're special, right? Mm -hmm. You're not going to ride like that forever. Okay? Because you're going to refine that. That's why you always want the light ass and then go to the big. Right? Because the light is what you're always going to do. What's the lightest cue I can make to make this happen? And then if it doesn't work, then bam! You guys are finished horses and we're doing this. Okay? Don't take the crap in the middle. Now that doesn't mean you mean. It means be fair and get it done. Okay? So, I'm not out here when you guys are practicing. But I can tell from your rides that you kind of let the gray area sink in. And you're like, oh, you can't agree. But what was the five steps before that? Right? So if I can get in my out of shape condition, cricket, a bow ball on a nice little hop, so can you, and so can you. Alright? I ride you once a month. <laughs> right? So what's the difference? 
solely the expectation of the writer. I come out and I say, eh, we're going to have to the month, but here's what we're doing, right? And when I let her go, or ask her to go, I expect it to go. Alright? But in a non like bitchy way. Right? I'm not like, no, 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 no. I'm like, no, just do it. Okay? And that's the whole mindset you need to have when you ride. And what happens is when you do something new or somebody pushes you, you get tired, you get frustrated, because it's uncomfortable, right? You got somebody who's like me yelling at you in the middle, even though you know me and you know what I love you guys. Okay, it's still hard because I'm like, ah, ah, ah. You have to bring the emotion out of it completely, and you have to live in the moment. All right, so what is the horse giving you at that exact moment? Susie, she may be giving you a high headed crack, all right, at that moment. So you have to fix that moment. You can't worry about what she did. You can't worry about what she's going to do. You live in that moment of what she's giving you, and you fix it, and you move on. You live moment to moment to moment. The way you get through the class is a series of moments. Make sense? You pull yourself out of that moment, you're done. You start thinking about, oh, she stopped, she pooped. Who cares? It's done, all right? But if you start thinking about that, you get distracted, and all of a sudden you're in traffic, and you have to break the gate because you weren't prepared for that traffic jam, you just, you know, move your class. All right? So the horses that win and the riders that win make it look effortless. There's a lot in the middle that's not effortless. Okay? You guys are great riders. You have great balance. Some of your equitation is a little bit sloppy, but we can fix that. And that's because you've been training, training, training. All right? Pull your shoulders back. Let the legs go long. Nice and vertical. Chin up. This is 97 or something. Okay? So just think about, remember how it used to feel? That's how she should feel. Okay? That's how she should feel. Did you ever write it? It was naturally flowing. You could put a stack of potatoes on it and he would carry them around with his mouth. And he would balance and follow you and just look great. Alright? You have to create that out of her. Okay? So it's harder because she's not, I mean, she's still naturally flowing. But she's just a different guy. But it should feel as white. Okay? When uh Kriya goes off, remember when we were I rode? That was light. She was just like, ah, ah, I'm moving up. Okay, same thing. Light. Did you only get light? I do. Okay? She can be light. I've ridden that horse. Okay, a million times. She can be lofty. She can stay in the pan. She can buck to the ceiling. Okay, she's not as lazy as she seems, but that is her cold blooded personality. But she has a button in there. So when you come out here, I want you guys to work on stamina too. Okay? And when you're in the canner and you're in the jog or the trot, we're going to position the body. Right? If they're giving you crap in the corner, don't take it. Alright? Because the judge is going to see that and you're like, ah, alright, moving on. Okay? Crap in the corner, crap in the center. I don't care what the crap is. Don't take it anymore. Now, I'm not saying be mean. I'm just saying don't take it. The best teachers, which you guys are to them, the good teacher, are fair and consistent. You always know what to expect. Don't change what you're doing. Get the right answer. Okay? You can change what you're doing if it's absolutely not working and it's not the right thing. Okay? But if you know that your outside ring is up and your, you know, inside leg is being a post or a door and you created the right frame and she's still not going, then get at it. But if you haven't gotten that frame, be a kind enough teacher to be, I'm not going to ask you until you're correct. Because the step before that is correct. Just get correct and then ask. So if you have to break it down to ABC, before you start selling or reading, do it. But don't stay there. Okay? And she's singing sonnets. Okay? Opera. Whatever. Okay? Just let it flow. Okay? Good 
Okay. Let's go up here. All right. Here you go. Hold on.